Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm going to show you how to boost your FPS in the world of tank in 2023. We're going to start by optimizing Windows and after that we will go inside of the game. So now the best setting for Windows for gaming. So first of all, we're going to search for game mode in the search bar. Make sure that game mode is activated for the past like year. It's pretty good. Uh, you're getting a decent performance and you're going to make sure that all your resources are focused on the game that you're playing. For the Xbox game bar, I still recommend to deactivate this one, causing stuttering, crashing in some games. So I'm not a huge fan of the Xbox game bar. And for the capture, make sure that the background recording is at off and also the, record, uh, the recorded audio is at off. Another thing that I recommend, it's the hardware accelerated GPU scheduling. Make sure that you're searching for graphic setting. You will need an NVIDIA card, 1000 series or more recent. It will really help with bottlenecks. So if you have a 1050, 1050 Ti, 1060, even the 2060, you can expect a nice 2 to 5% boost. And also you can expect like less stuttering when you're using that. So I re really recommend to use that. Another thing that is really important, it's your driver. Make sure that you have the latest driver from AMD, NVIDIA, even Intel, if you have a, an iGPU on your processor. Um, so for example, here with AMD, you just click check for update and it's going to show you if you have the latest one. You can do the same thing with NVIDIA. Another thing that I can recommend with the um, NVIDIA and AMD, they have uh, an image scaling uh, for the past like a couple of months. Um, for from AMD, it's called Super Resolution, and for Nvidia, it's NIS. I have dedicated video to, who's gonna like show you how to use that and how to configure it. But to explain you quickly what it's about, uh, so you need to enable this. So for example, I'm playing uh, in 2K because my monitor in, is in 2K. I'm going inside of my game. I lower the resolution at 1080p, and the software will scale it back at 2K. And with this process, I can save like 15, 20% in my FPS. Also, you can do it if you have like a 4K monitor and you want to do 1080p or 2K. Uh, you can expect a nice boost. The image quality will not be the same if you compare with native, but in some game, it's working very well and you it's very tough to see the difference. So I, I recommend to, to use it if you're struggling with your FPS. So if you have an NVIDIA card, just go on your NVIDIA setting, go to control panel, open it, go to manage 3D setting and just use pretty much the setting that I'm currently using. Honestly, they're pretty much default. So the first one that you need to change is your low latency mode. If you have this technology, make sure that it's at on. The other one is your if you want to lock your FPS. Uh, for an example, you have like a 170 Hertz monitor and you want to stay in your G-Sync ring. Uh, range sorry you just put your uh, FPS here at like something like 167 something like that you want to be under 170 Hertz to always stay in your G-Sync range so if you want to do that it will do that for all your game it's a global setting over there so I'm gonna unlock it and this is pretty much it if you have access to the change ECC state I recommend to uncheck it this will slow your VRAM so you don't want to use that for change resolution, make sure that you're playing native. So you're, if you have a 2K monitor, go with 2K. If you have a 1080p monitor, go with 1080p. And super important, look at your refresh rate. A lot of people are missing this step. They buy like a new screen and by default it's at 60. So use the uh, maximum refresh rate that is available on your uh, monitor. The last parameter will be your G-Sync. So I recommend if you want to use G-Sync, I recommend to, first of all, you need to enable it. And I recommend to use the enable for window and full screen. So if you're playing a game like in borderless mode, it will be applied. Also, you can select just one uh, display screen, depending on whatever. If, if your second screen is not compatible with G-Sync, you will just push it to one monitor. Uh, me, I'm not using it. I have a 4090 uh, for my GPU, so I just want to unlock my FPS. So in majority of the game, I'm getting like 250 FPS and um, my monitor refresh rate is at 170 Hertz. So I just want to lower my input lag. So that's why I just unlock everything, but it really depends on your situation. So this is pretty much it for NVIDIA. Another thing that I recommend, it's your energy profile. So write energy in your search bar, go to power option. Make sure that you're running something like balance or high performance. Um, on a de desktop computer, it should not be an issue. But if you're playing on a laptop, 
really make sure that you're using that or a special profile for performance uh, from your brand like Asus, Dell or whatever. The thing is sometimes when you plug your uh, PC in the wall, unplug using it with the battery, sometimes it stay at power saver and you don't want to use that when you're playing a game. So super important to be plugged in and also uh, to use a proper uh, performance profile. Another thing that I can recommend, it's the Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. This is a software made by the guy from DDU. Um, it's, it's pretty amazing, honestly. Um, it will help if you don't have a lot of RAM in your PC. So if you have 4 gig of RAM, 8 gig, 12 gig, uh, after that, you should be fine. Windows is doing the job properly. So it will free memory and it's gonna make sure that it optimize your standby list. So what I recommend normally, it's look at your total memory here. In my case, it's 32. Just divided by two, so for me it's 16. Just press start and it will run automatically and you just lower the software like that and you're gonna make sure it's optimized. So it's a really good software and also it helps a little bit with uh, stuttering. So I really recommend to use that. One last thing is um, I have dedicated video on my channel about overclocking CPU, overclocking GPU, depending on your brand and stuff. And it's pretty good because it there are basic overclocking guide. I don't touch voltage, so it's pretty safe. You can expect sometimes 2% to 10% boost in your FPS depending on your thermal, depending on your component. But it's it's something that you need to look at too if you want to optimize your PC um, for the best performance. So now let's go inside of the game. So now inside of the game, we're going to go to the graphics settings over there. So first of all, we're gonna start by screen. Make sure that uh, you're using the render resolution at 100%. You don't want to downscale. Everything will look blurry and it's not good to see enemies. Make sure that you're not using the dynamic adjustment also over there. In the uh, mode of your monitor, make sure that you're playing full screen. Borderless is not great in this game. It's causing stuttering. It's not that good. And also you're gonna lose a couple of FPS. With the resolution, super important to look at this and the refresh rate. The, it, it needs to match your monitor. By default, mine was at 1080p 60Hz. Very weird. So uh, I have a 1440p monitor and also it's a 240Hz monitor. So really make sure that you're using proper setup over there. You don't want to use any V-Sync, so you don't want to add input lag. Same thing with triple buffering. You want to uncheck this. Browser hardware acceleration, this one is kind of fine. You can use it. Uh, FOV. This one will affect your FPS, so if you go higher, you're going to lose FPS. It's a question of preference, honestly. If you used to play at 90, just stay at 90. Uh, but if you need more, re remember that you're going to lose FPS if you do that. And uncheck the uh, dynamic FOV over there. After that, we're going to go to the details. You have the main section over here. Um, Anti-aliasing super important to go with off. Uh, and the anti-aliasing in this game is very blurry, so it's tough to see enemy when you're using it. And also, you will gain a nice 5% boost in your FPS. Texture quality, it really depends on the amount of VRAM on your GPU. So if you have 4 gig and more of VRAM, you can definitely play at max. If you have 3 gig, go at high. If you have less than 3 gig, go medium or low. For object LOD, I recommend to just go at medium like this. It's really decent. Uh, when you go at low, it's pretty trash. You will see that the game looks very bad. So if you want pure performance and also like a good visual to see enemy, go with LOD like this and make sure that your draw distance is at maximum. And if you have a very good computer, definitely go at ultra. Also, the graphic start at standard. If you want pure performance, less input lag, FPS, definitely go standard. If you have a, if you want like a decent visual, but also good performance you can definitely go with improve and i will tell you which parameter is very important to turn down because it will help you with your fps so for the first one start with this after that the light and post processing if you want per performance everything at low and off the most important one is the shadow quality if i compare um the shadow quality at maximum versus off you can expect a nice 15 percent boost in your fps so really important never use the motion blur effect also uh it, it's pretty trash for your vi visibility so make sure that you're using that uh if you want you want like a decent image quality at improve you definitely you can start at uh, the first mark over there for lighting quality and pretty much the same thing with post processing Terrain water and vegetation, if you want per FPS, again, everything at low, uncheck everything. If you feel that uh, you just want like a, a good visual and no, don't want to lose too much FPS, I recommend to go something like this. So medium over there, eye for vegetation quality and median for grass density and still make sure that everything is unchecked. 
The last one is um, effect, so the extra effect. So even if you're playing at the improve, I don't recommend to using this. It's staying too much your FPS. So everything at off over there and make sure that you uncheck everything else. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Wall of Tank guide. It really depends on your computer. Like, do you have like a good computer or uh, a, a very old computer? If you are playing with a very old computer, make sure that you're playing standard and everything at low and use those settings at main. Uh, some people will need to go at eye over there for draw distance because it's taking a lot of resources to play at maximum. So it's question how many FPS that you need. So if you want uh, me to help you about... Any issue that you have with World of Tank, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your rig, CPU, GPU, and RAM. I will try to help you the best that I can. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Peace.